Curry. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this New York Knicks, my NBA. And we're starting off this episode with a trade. We will be trading Emmanuel quickly to the Los Angeles Clippers for two first round picks. One is an OKC swap worse with LA, and the other is an unprotected Clippers pick in 2028. Uh, I scoured the um, league to see who needed a point guard, and the Clippers are the most desperate. Their starting point guard is Jason Preston. So, Emmanuel quickly. You are going to be sent to your new home in Los Angeles. And as you know, there were some pretty big changes in free agency. Here are the current power rankings. The Nets do not have um, Kyrie Irving, but this is also not the updated rotation. All right, now everyone should have the updated rotation. The Nets are now running Ben Simmons, Cam Thomas, KD, Nicholas Claxton, and Clint Capella. This is their new look team. Um, another change is i believe where are they where are they where are they they're probably gonna actually be really low after being the first seed yeah the las vegas venom got russell westbrook and they signed cam reddish and cam johnson so they basically took three of our players for nothing for absolutely nothing and they got kpj so this team definitely got better i don't think they will um be better than last year because last year i think was a little bit of a fluke i'm not gonna lie to you kevin love though was a beast um, but yes, that was the other team that made a big change. Uh, the Phoenix Suns with Chris Paul retiring had now have John Wall. And then other than that, I don't believe there was any other huge changes besides Kyrie Irving joining the Houston Rockets. Almost forgot about that. Him and Jalen Green are going to be a nasty, nasty backcourt. And those are it for the big, big changes. Other than that, small changes. As we know, we just traded Emmanuel quickly to the Clippers. Um, Denver Nuggets got Karis LeVert. Um, Draymond Green is on the Pacers now. The Miami Heat look the same. They added Matisse Thibel. The Lakers are struggling. Uh, currently, I might help them a little bit um, adjusting their positions because Pat Bev's pretty running the point guard, to be honest. Uh, Pelicans are the same. Cleveland Cavaliers add Harrison Barnes. The Sixers do not have a small forward. Uh, James Harden gets worse. Boston Celtics are the same. And the Milwaukee Bucks bring back Dante DiVincenzo. So that was a look around the league. So I fixed the Lakers. Pat Bev is back to a point guard. TJ Warren is their shooting guard. LeBron James, uh, PJ Tucker, I, I think he's still going to be starting for them. I don't know what they're going to do with that power forward spot. Then Anthony Davis, this team looks a lot better now. And we can start simulating. Uh, the rotation for this season is the same as it was last episode. Going into this first game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we get demolished. RJ Barrett drops 30. Jalen Brunson, not a great game. Amari Bailey, pretty solid game. Victor Oladipo, bro. What a terrible debut for you. Can we bounce back against the Los Angeles Lakers? We do not. RJ Barrett, another 30 piece. And Victor Oladipo, another terrible, terrible game. LeBron drops 40. PJ Jock Tucker, we allowed to drop 17 on us. Dallas Mavericks. Can we start off with a. Nope. Starting off 0 3. This was the DeAndre Ayton game. All right, Bailey's been playing really goddamn good. Oladipo. Bro, you are playing bad. I'm going to keep simming until... Well, we're going to sim to the trade deadline in this episode. And we do get a win against the San Antonio Spurs. Victor Oladipo finally had a decent game. School Henderson. Uh, who, the Spurs do have D'Angelo Russell, I forgot. So, I'm going to start simulating. And if anything big happens, I'll let you all know. Alright, this season has currently been riddled with injuries. But we are not doing so hot. 8-13... Um, on the season, we're starting to pick up our... We got destroyed by the Rockets. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone's began hurt, but we're going on a little streak here. Going on a little streak here. Three-game win streak. Four-game win streak. Can we make it five against the Pistons? We make it five. Win by 11. Six. We're on a six-game winning streak. And it ends there against the Boston Celtics. We lose two in a row. Pick up one against the fourth. Can we beat the powerhouse Miami Heat? We do. I don't know if they're a powerhouse this season, but they were the first seed last year. And we're back at 500, though. After starting off the season really poorly, starting to pick up steam. You'll love to see it. Simulation, though, in this year's 2K is super, super slow, which sucks because, you know, it's kind of next gen. You would think it'd be faster. We lose by one to the Bucks, which also sucks. But we're at three games, four games now over 500. Uh, so that's definitely a positive as we lose two in a row, possibly three against the Cavs. No, we actually beat them. I'm this team. Is not starting to impress me a little bit uh, with the record? This might be the playoff year where we're going to stop simulating. And there goes Jalen Brunson. 
He wasn't having an amazing season, but you gotta be kidding me. There goes our starting point guard. So you know what that means. Scoot Henderson gets thrusted into the starting lineup. It is what it is. Oh, we're gonna give him 30. We're gonna boost old deal to 30. That is a huge injury to us. I'm a Marley Bailey. Bump up your minutes, Jay Crowder, I guess. I don't even know how well you're playing. Uh, 12 minutes, and then we're losing a point guard. And we don't really have a point guard. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna give those 10 minutes to Melo. And we are currently, what seed are we? We are currently the 8th seed, so the East is really good this year. Um, Let's see the player stats for the year. Who's leading us? RJ Barrett, of course, with 24 points a game, shooting 50, 40, 80. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, 17 and 12. You love to see. Scoo Henderson off the bench is averaging 16 on amazing shooting, 53% from the field. Old Depot, Old Depot's playing really bad, bro. Really bad. And we give him a two-year deal. Yikes. Same thing. Obi Top and I expected a little bit more from you. You're averaging a block, though, and you're shooting solid. I, I expected a little bit more scoring. Amari Bailey's having a really good rookie um, campaign. Same thing. Quentin Grimes, six points on 34% shooting. That, that can't be happening, bro. Can't be happening. So, do we look for trades for Victor Oladipo? I'm pretty sure I gave him a team option, right? Did I not? Or did I? It's a straight. Oh, I gave him two years and then team option after. So, we're kind of we're chilling with Oladipo for now. I don't know. He might lose a spot in the rotation if he keeps playing this poorly. And we might get, we could give it to Scoot Henderson. To be honest, have him play alongside Jalen Brunson if he gets healthy. Um, but we're currently sitting at the eighth seed. I'm not stressing too much about it. Uh, when it comes to contract extensions, nothing. Uh, Obi Toppin, Mello. So no real big free agents. Obi Toppin should have his rookie. Uh, he should be a restricted free agent. So let's simulate through um to the trade deadline. Um, let, let me let me simulate and see if uh oh auto draft there we go and see if he made it and no he keeps getting snubbed. R.J. Barrett gets snubbed once again. Unbelievable, unbelievable man. Twenty four points a game. The eight seed. Montrezl Harrell, you can play through. Wow, we are the the snub the, the today's the trade deadline. Thirty one to twenty three. We're still the eighth seed, but we're a game back of six. And RJ Barrett was not an all-star. I think that's back-to-back -back years of being snubbed. And one team I want to see, actually, is the Venom. And they are sitting at the sixth seed. The West is still poor. But, oh, wow, Westbrook got benched. And they traded for Jordan. You did not. You traded Russell Westbrook for Jordan Poole. And Westbrook's actually playing really good. Y'all traded Russell Westbrook for Jordan Poole. Or you, I guess you traded Jordan Poole for Golden State. What y'all? What are you doing? What a what a W of a trade for the Vegas Venom. Now they got Kevin Porter Jr. starting. Cam Reddish is having a good year. Cam Johnson is having a career year. He could win Most Improved. Isaiah Stewart's okay. Did they also trade Kevin Love, or is he hurt? They traded Kevin Love. Where they trade him to? The Suns? Because they got Sarich. Um, no, they did not trade him to the Suns. Let the trade Kevin Love. Oh, Kevin Love was involved with the Westbrook trade. Oh boy, you you, still, you guys still lost that trade. He's just hurt. The Auto Force is still very bad. The Nuggets are bad, which is kind of a surprise. And the Lakers are the one seed. Looks like the changes I made worked. They're starting Terrence Davis at the two guard. He's averaging 14 a game. They're still starting. So then I was starting TJ Warren, who I made a shooting guard to start. But that's fine. That it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, the Lakers balling out. AD's averaging 22. LeBron's averaging 26. Uh, Timberwolves are the two seed with Dinwiddie as their new point guard. Uh, in the East, the Boston Celtics are your one seed. And they traded for Mike Conley. Really good trade. But Jason Tatum is hurt. Who's averaging 31, so that hurts. Oh, who did they trade for Mike Conley? A lot of trades happening. They traded Derek White. From Mike Conley. That is a W of a trade for the Boston Celtics. Without a doubt. The Jazz kind of loaded up a bit. They loaded up a little bit. Not going to lie. Um, But the Boston Celtics, huge trade for them. Big one. Darius Garland and the Cleveland Cavaliers. With Donovan Mitchell, who is hurt. A lot of players are getting hurt, bro. Are the two seed tied with the Miami Heat. Who are still chilling at the top of the East. Oh, wait. This is all teams. Oops. Uh, still the third seed. Uh, the Pelicans sitting at the fourth seed. Indiana Pacers with the addition of Draymond Green. 
propel them all the way up to number five. Brooklyn Nets with Ben Simmons is hurt, but Dennis Smith Jr. is holding down the fort. They are the sixth seed. Philadelphia 76ers are the seventh seed. The East is amazing this year. So if we were in the Western Conference, we were, what, 31 and 23? We'd be the fourth seed right now in the Western Conference, but yet we're sitting at number eight. A, a nice four-game lead over the Magic, but yeah, that just shows how good the Eastern Conference is this year in the box. The NBA champion Chicago Bulls are 18 and 40, and the Milwaukee Bucks, who made it to the conference championship, are 27 and 30. That just goes to show anything can happen. But that is going to be it for me. I don't plan on really making any trades, I don't think. Um, who was playing poorly that I said could be a possible oh yeah, old depot, but I don't think anyone's really gonna want old depot. And there's no one I really the only thing I can see is starting to scoot alongside Brunson, but I don't know about that. Um, so I don't really think I'm gonna make any trades because we're in, we're making a playoff push, so there's really no need to make any changes. So that's gonna be for me. Leave a like, guys, did enjoy. Subscribe, guys, are new. Appreciate.